All right, folks, so we got some nasty weather today, so we're gonna stay in the house making a Big Mac casserole. That's right, the casserole king is back. So let's go get started. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna slice this up, half of an onion. Once you got your onion sliced up, diced up, however you wanna cut it, just set it to the side for now. Now, in a separate bowl, I'm just gonna add me a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm just gonna kinda pour it to the side of the bowl. Then I'm gonna add a teaspoon of onion powder to the mix. I'm gonna sprinkle it kinda on the other side of the bowl. Next, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of salt. Again, just kinda keep it a little bit separated there. Lastly, in this bowl, I'm gonna put me about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Now later, when I'm ready to use these, rather than having to measure out four different deals, I can just dump this whole bowl into the mix. Now that we've got our seasonings ready and our onion diced up, I'm gonna pour two tablespoons worth of olive oil into a skillet, and I'm gonna turn this on to a medium heat. All right, now that our oil's starting to heat up, we're gonna scrape those onions into the skillet that we used, uh, or that we had just cut up. Now we're gonna let them cook until they get soft and tender. All right, once your onions started getting soft, we're gonna add about a pound of ground beef into the skillet, and then just work, start working to brown your ground beef. So our ground beef isn't quite completely cooked yet, so I'm gonna use this opportunity to go ahead and sprinkle in that those seasonings that we poured into the bowl, and then I'm just gonna stir them around and get, so that way it all gets good and coated. All right, so we just finished uh, browning the ground beef and drained the fat off of it. Now I'm gonna add in one cup. Now I've got Thousand Island. It, the recipe called for burger sauce or Thousand Island. Um, so that's what we chose to go with. If you choose to go with burger sauce, that's completely up to you. But we get that added in. We're just gonna stir this all around, get it good and mixed in together. I should point out as well that the recipe I found called, this is when, as soon as you finish browning your ground beef, you would add in uh, relish or some diced up dill pickle. My wife and I were not a big fan of dill pickle or relish, so we omitted that part and went straight into the Thousand Island. Now that we've got that all good and combined, we're gonna sprinkle in about a quarter cup of shredded cheese, and we're just gonna keep working that around and, until all that cheese is melted. All right, now that we've got this all good and mixed in together, we're gonna take that and we're, beef mixture, and we're gonna pour it into a nine by 13 baking dish. We're just gonna sp spread that around, get it nice and evened out. Truth be told, I probably could have went with another pound of ground beef, just being real honest, but I didn't really wanna make a whole bunch because it's the first time I've ever made this. So. so we used a quarter cup of that cheese earlier to spread into the mixture. Now we're gonna come back with the remaining one and three quarter cup. And we're gonna spread that all out along the top here. Next, you're gonna take your 32 ounce bag of tater, frozen tater tots, and you're gonna line the top of this dish with frozen tater tots. I'm just gonna pour them all out and then spread them out as needed. Now all that's left to do is put them in the oven. We already got our oven set to 350 degrees. We're gonna put them in there for 40 to 45 minutes or until the tater starts start turning a good golden brown color. So I just removed it from the oven. Actually, we ended up going 47 minutes, but the tater tots are looking good. And you can see that cheese kind of started coming up through the tater tots. So I'm ready to dig into this thing. We're gonna let it set for about two minutes. All right, folks, scoop me some out onto a plate. I gotta tell you, it's looking pretty good, huh? All right, here we go down the hatch for that old important taste test. That's good. Well, folks, that's really good. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I was expecting a little bit more from it just by seeing the pictures that I saw on Facebook. But don't get me wrong, it's still good. It's just I expected more. Uh, but I probably could have, should have seasoned the top of the tater tots before I put them in the oven. I didn't think about that until they were almost done. But this was a good, quick, easy meal. All right, 
all together. It took about 50 minutes, just under an hour to get all this completed. So, you know, it's not the quickest meal, but it's still pretty good for that crazy, you know, weeknight. So y'all let me know what you think. And y'all, if y'all got any pointers, any tips, what I might could have done different on this to make it more than what I was expecting, y'all let me know. But y'all, as always, y'all like, subscribe, and we'll see y'all later.